Thank you, James. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Armin. I'm working as an innovation fellow at Lancaster University. Here, I'm working with the companies to analyze the industry problems, find the solution, and to develop a smart material that improve the existing product. Uh, prior to this project, I was working as a doctoral researcher in Lancaster University. My research interest covers a broad range of both academic and industrial interests, including multimaterial joining technology for light weighting, joint optimization, uh, material characterization and property measurement, failure and damage assessment and additive manufacturing. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to talk about uh, engineering department uh, capabilities, what we can do for businesses, and I'm going to show you an example of our previous work. Firstly, we are not uh, new to this. We have been delivering uh, additive manufacturing solutions to over uh, 1,200 SMEs via the Lancaster Product Development Unit for nearly uh, 20 years much via ERDF funding, we have been constantly expanding our capability and stuff uh, aligned to these activities. Additive uh, manufacturing, AM, also known as 3D printing, is a transformative approach to industrial production that can bring a digital flexibility and efficiency to manufacturing uh, operations. Additive manufacturing method uses a data computer aided design CAD software or 3D object scanners to direct the hardware to deposit a material layer upon a layer in a precise geometric shapes. Uh, additive manufacturing method is most often used uh, for prototyping and its ability to quickly manufacture a single part enables us to validate uh, ideas in a cost-effective manner. We have state-of-the-art equipment in polymers like fused deposition method, fused filament fabrication, stereolithography or SLA, and selective laser sintering or SLS. We also have uh, carbon fiber composite 3D printers and metal uh, 3D printers such as selective laser melting or SLM and laser deposition welding LDM. We are going to be one of the first institution in the UK to offer access to a novel dual material additive manufacturing process using a metal wire. This 3D printer uses a technology developed by Meltio which is capable of manufacturing with a metal powders or wires or even combining a both type of techniques on the same piece. The result is metal part with 100% density, a very attractive feature for industry as it increases the efficiency of parts. We have high resolution 3D scanner based on, uh, on blue light technology. It is perfect for capturing uh, small objects or intricate details of large industrial object in a high resolution. Uh, with a steadfast accuracy and brilliant color, which is very useful for uh, reverse engineering. We are also capable of using a traditional manufacturing method, CNC machining and casting method to produce a prototype to support the uh, AM technique. We can perform a wide variety of testing with industrial quality mechanical testing machines. This includes instrument machines with a different load cell that allows us to obtain a failure load accurately from a few newton up to 250 kilonewton. We have fixture to perform a tensile compression, three and four point bending and fracture uh, toughness testing. We also have a three ball on a road a rolling contact fatigue tester which allows us to investigate a surface fatigue on a sample using a long-term testing. Digital image correlation, DIC, is another state-of-the-art piece of equipment in engineering department which allows us to precisely measure displacement, strain, Poisson ratio and also it can be used for observation of the crack and to create the 2D strain map in a specific area on a sample. We can potentially develop a BS book test uh, using a mechanical design software. Our in-house design team can design and build the fixtures 
and fitting to, so, to suit your samples and specimen, providing you with the best test setup to capture the data that you need. Also, we have industrial quality microscope, scanning electron microscopy or SEM analysis, uh, provide a high resolution imaging useful for evaluating the various materials for surface fractures, flows, uh, contaminants, or uh, corrosion. Uh, through SEM and EDX analysis, we can provide a, a thorough examination of material properties and give a valuable insight to manufacturers. We recently uh, added a new laser microscope, Olympus OLS 500, to our lab, uh, which, which we observe steps in the nanometer range and measure high differences at the sub-micron level. In addition, this machine allows us to measure surface roughness from linear to planar. We also have a metrography lab to analyze the microscopic structure of material to determine the bark properties. Uh, this uh, typically involves sectioning, uh, mounting in various polymer uh, systems, grinding and polishing to a mirror surface, chemical or electro etching of the surfaces, optical microscopy and hardness testing. In engineering department, we have a wide variety of software. This include CAD and CAM software, such as SOLIDWORKS, AutoCAD, and CAMWORK, which we can use for creation, modification, analysis, or optimization of your product. Also, we have license for a popular finite element analysis, FEA, and computational fluid dynamics CFD software, such as ANSYS, Abacus, and COMSOL, which we can use during the product development process to predict what's going to happen when the product is used. In addition, we have thermodynamic and kinetic software, mat, uh, MatCalc and ThermoCalc. Uh, these two software allows to compute phase equilibrium metallic alloys. This includes steel, stainless steel, magnesium alloys, titanium alloys, high entropy alloys, and uh, aluminium alloys. Also, we develop in-house software for alloys and microstructure design. So now I'm going to talk about what we can do for businesses. We can help the companies investigate the additive manufacturing techniques for the first time by using our state-of-the-art equipment to produce a cost-effective prototype. Through a technology matching demonstrations, test parts, uh, validation, we can help a client to establish their uh, own in-house capabilities. Uh, we offer uh, additional expertise around modeling of a active manufacturing process, modeling uh, product performance as a part of design optimization, and conduct a mechanical and physical testing to prove a, a new concept design or process and uh, overcome a design or material issues. Uh, we are running a Gizmo PhD, specifically, specifically on uh, improving the uh, functionality of part using a design for additive manufacturing principles. This will deliver a research outcome to partner aligned to this project via case studies and we welcome industrial input to help uh, to guide these projects. Now I'm going to show you one case study that we have done for a uh, business line in the past. Uh, they are based in Carnford. Um, they manufacture a novel will not safety device for uh, commercial re uh, vehicles under the brand name Checkpoint. The majority of their products are currently sold to freight uh, companies across the UK, but they were looking to increase their international uh, presence. Business Line had every fate in their wheel lockers devices, but record some more empirical evidence of the quality. Uh, they requested the help of the Lancaster team in the form of torque and tensile testing of their devices and also of a set of uh, competitor devices as a 
uh, comparison. Uh, the test aimed to prove that the business line product is of a higher quality and should outperform their non-competitor devices. So uh, Lancaster team uh, performed a, a different type of testing. The torque uh, testing was carried out using a torque transducer to measure the force required to rotate a nut held by the devices. The tensile test was performed using an industrial quality instrument testing machine to find the maximum failure load. While the nut and device were standard items, the fixtures to hold everything in a place needed to be manufactured and it was a very specific size and shape so we decided to model up a suitable fixture and use a selective laser sintering to make the fixture using a polymate tool as the material. And finally, the test uh, data gave the business line the confidence and the evidence to help them expand into an international market such as North America. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. If anyone would like some more information or has questions, please feel free to ask in question session or to contact me after the webinar. Now I'm going to hand over to Julian in chemical and hydrogen team.